mobile. I thought that 101 in that diesel mobile. I got the camera rolling on you, man. I got the phone on too. I hope it doesn't sound weird. Hello there, 101 in the diesel mobile. 163. Where we're rolling. Your turn. there 101 it's kind of rough on my end I got the noise blanker on we're rolling I know you're rolling too I think you said you were up there on route 40 man about the 89 yard sticker oh yeah we remember the 40 sure do <laughs> not fixing to go to that little spot where that sign is man let mofo out hopefully there's no rattlesnakes and keep this gate a rolling man what do you think mr. 101 your turn I got a lot of traffic on my end there, 101. Let's uh, go to channel 39. Let's try 39, 163, we're gone. See QDX, one, how about it there, 101, that diesel mobile, 163, we're trying. Alright there, 101, triple five around the Mojave. We got a bunch of you guys in there. Top of the evening. Hope you have a wonderful Father's Day and you know, the rest of this weekend. 163. Hey man, 101, you're sounding good. there 101 well, I gotta take my keys out of the ignition but I got my hands full it's going beep 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 you'll probably hear it 101 I've heard a couple different world radio stations in there you guys are sounding great this evening 163 Lordsburg New Mexico first personal is Mark hard drive on the CB radio we're listening Right there, one triple nine going to feed those asses. <laughs> That's cool, man. I, I love animals. I'd like to see them and pet them, to be honest with you. All right, there, one triple nine. My pleasure, man. Enjoy your weekend. 163. Back to you, Tom. Man, see the difference between the quarter wave and the 5 8 wave? It's a big difference, it really is. Plus, I'm near power lines, but the quarter wave is really, really, really hard to beat. Same thing over here, man. A little Francis up on the roof. I could probably switch over to the Wilson 5000, but it's still gonna work. Probably won't work quite as well. The 5000 probably get me a little bit better range due to its takeoff angles. The angle of radiation is gonna be a little bit lower. 
But when you're talking DX, if you want to talk DX, it's really hard to beat a quarter wave antenna. Your turn. The tune has a lot to do with it. Two factory radios right now, if we were talking, they were out of the box and with these mics on it. I really doubt I would put a dollar on it if we would be able to talk. Due to the way both of these radios receive, I'm not gonna talk about all the modifications or updates that were done to it. But I really doubt if we'd be talking. There's a possibility, but I doubt it. You're sounding good over here, man. I'm not live, but it's almost like Memorex on this little mud duck camera. <laughs> Just let old Mopo out. I got to watch for snakes though. He ran today. I did a video called the definition of a screwdriver jockey. I'm not sure I'm going to put that up yet, but we'll see. 101 in that diesel mobile. Your turn. Roger, well, I appreciate that, man. You make me feel all warm and fuzzy because what it is is a tuned circuit. It really is from start to finish in resonance. There's so much to it. There's like 600 videos on YouTube, you know, that cover it one little step at a time, man. How it actually performs in all these little video gates. I still got my little striker here in the Jeep. My channel selector is wore out going going down now it's not a selector it's actually just the encoder the any tone is going to go in up over here eventually but uh it all has to wait I got, I got work to do you know i just got too much work to do and i got to take care of a dog and live life and all the things that break in my own casa but anyways 101 thank you for saying that but you like you said you follow directions that's the whole key man tom that's the biggest Flipping battle is following directions. Back to you. Oh, words were never so true. I listen and read all these guys online, and they want to, you know, be haters and uh, doubters. I think they know something more than what they really know. And they just go on and on, and they just don't know what they think they know. And then when they see it, you know, <laughs> yeah i'd like to see something better too man if there is it's on a rom okay and it's selectable and it's going to control uh, i'm not going to get into all the aspects of the transmit section but it's going to have to be able to control everything according to noise and the power you have not angle or radiation and up in that nature but then it also has to control your receiver the AGC to be able to talk close, far DX, talk through noise. I'm, man, we're talking it like 20 continuous watts. That's all we're doing. Your radio does not peak envelope power or PEP over 80. If you put it on a meter or dual tone or a single, you'll see it. It's, it's only extremely clear. All we're doing is utilizing with what we got to the best of the ability. Hopefully you still got me, man. And we can sit here, both of us, and talk and talk and talk nonstop, and our radios won't burn our fingers. <laughs> Your turn. I got an eight watt You know, that's the best part right there, not burning my finger. Yeah, about that. Oh, you talk all night long with these radios. There's no doubt about it. The performance, the, uh, that's what I like about it. Just turn it on and talk. I ain't got to sit there and worry about where my knobs are.
We got some other stations in there too right now. We got some base stations, some great sounding radios I'm hearing. But I'm still hearing you. I'm not trying to say who's out talking who because I really hate that crowd. But we are talking, you know, two barefoot mobiles. Hold on. Guaranteed. Let me hear your horn, Tom. <laughs> I got to get a recording of that, man. I dig it. Yes, sir. I got it, man. <laughs> that's the, I think that's the first time I got that in a video game. Thank you. It's not the biggest radio. Well, for sideband stability, yes. These are the biggest, baddest radios out there. Unless you want to start adding something to it. But for reliability, well, it's like, I, I think we talked about this. If I was going to be behind the wheel of doing what you're doing, of all the radios that were available and available now and knowing what I know now, it's definitely going to be this or the Anytone. The Anytone's way more durable in some ways, but... You know, when I consider the amount of time that I got with the heat sink and doing other things to it, it's just not cost effective for other people. And I can't do it cheaper because I got too many other radios to work on. You know how that goes. I can't, you know, step over, well, you know the, you know the story, stepping over a dollar to pick up a penny. I can't do it. I got, I'll have people pissed off at me. But the Anytone's a bad, badass little radio too. There's no doubt about it with the proper modifications using the same mic and I'm using the yeah, Ranger SRA 198 just like you are absolutely nothing done to the microphone it's a stock Ranger SRA 198 but everything's done internally and I'm sure that you have noticed because it's part of the deal you know being a driver and or operator well either one a radio operator or a truck operator that you need to keep your eyes on the road. And this is where a lot of it's come from, Tom. Is my eyes thinking about it. You know I got some miles. Some people might doubt that, but you as a driver know for a fact. And if I get in that truck, well, forget the automatic. You'll know. I guarantee. Well, you do know just by conversation. My eyes, your eyes, and as an instructor, we're going to be on the road. I want your eyes on the road flipping the least amount of switches. So you probably realize that when you go from AM to sideband, that you don't have to jack with the mic gain. You don't have to jack with the echo. All you do is just sit there and mash the gas and talk on the radio. Yeah, well, 
it can be the any tone too man I'm not trying to argue with you by the way I bought some uh, power connectors for my camera and they don't work they plug in but they don't work so I have a, 10 minutes right now it's just 11 a second ago I can't plug it in I just tried it I was gonna try it I'm gonna show Scott that his little power converter thing that he sent me for USB works but I can't plug my camera in but yeah I mean that's been the whole thing it doesn't matter if you use it as a base station it just sits there on and monitors all day or if you use it as a base station and do what I say don't think do what I say and how to mount it and use the voltage and you could use it around the clock you know pretty much 50 percent duty cycle if you got 50 ohms in your resonant antenna it's going to work i mean any radio properly tuned and antenna system properly tuned should do that but yeah it's hard to beat yeah they cost a little bit more they take more time and sometimes you got to pay for that time that someone spent years and years and decades to get to that point but anyways yeah i could sit here we could talk all night till my camera goes dead i got nine minutes your turn Roger, yeah, when I hear my babies out there talking, and especially when guys are actually enjoying them, I was just on Sesame Street a little while ago, and I don't know where, where they were, I think it was Vegas, they said no, but, you know, they were, they were harassing me, and I was just right back on them, and everybody that goes through town, you know, it's like, man, you guys are disrespecting the airwaves, you know, they were acting like idiots, so I, I don't never want to work on someone's radio like that, but a radio like these yeah man just sit back and talk enjoy it you know the goosebump thing when someone can enjoy it day in day out see I know what you do for a living and you're on that sucker all, all the time that's what you that's what you had it built for you know for safety for Sesame Street and when you're bored you come down here to lower sideband and you probably go to some other frequencies too and scan the bands I got uh, eight minutes left on my camera and I've never run it down all the way so when I hit one minute I'm gonna stop the camera so I don't lose this video gate okay Well, you'd hear it all the time, you know, you, you'd hear it. Can they do a couple of more watts? Yes, but then they'll do less watts. And then every time you heat it and cool it down, heat it and cool it down, it ain't gonna work at all. So, you ask me if I was holding back on you? Yes and no. But do you wanna say, take an NTC 855 or a, a little red shiny T90 and run that thing at 2400 all day long? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't, man. You don't. You don't want a governor on it at all, but you just don't run it there. And that's what the AMC and the ALC circuits for on a radio. They actually help the radio to produce more power, but that's something that's almost impossible to teach people. They just won't get it. It makes my head hurt. More days than you could ever possibly imagine when people ask me how many watts. 
sometimes I just want to shoot myself or shoot my foot or something, you know. But uh, anyways, the components that are in the radio are actually there for a reason. Once you know how to utilize them, then it's just like blueprinting a motor. You could have a little 354 bolt, you know, and or you could have a 354 bolt that's blueprinted and balanced. It's going to get better fuel economy, better performance, last longer, and kick the living you know what out of a stock one. Your turn. <laughs> right. right 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 yeah you can put all kinds of stuff behind it but then you got that issue too you know when, when you're when you're 24 hours of fame or 15 minutes of fame is up you know and you go to this park somewhere and you think everything is good and all of a sudden it's quiet you know and that thing went into self-oscillation because the guy next to you keyed up with some splatter shit box then you might have issues, you might not wake up. But yeah, barefoot, if you make your ring, I'll make them sing, I guarantee it. But you you did it, you know, you followed directions, you know, you bought the analyzer, you understand it, you got the ohmmeter. It was well worth it, wasn't it? Roger, okay, on sideband though, it's not 20 continuous. You're at just about 80 PEP. 80 PEP on a meter, even on my 4314C, which is a very accurate meter, it's made for sideband, not just AM PEP. But that's basically what the 4314C meter does. Okay, yours does, mine does, like what I'm doing right now. And you can see my meter, it's, it barely touches 60, but on a real meter, that's about what it does. So on AM, yeah, we're probably key in 20, you know, swinging up around 22. It should be a little bit more, but we're going slightly into compression. You figure you multiply your carrier times 1.414, or you could divide your carrier, your, 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 uh, your PEP divided by two, divide that by two again times 0.707, and you'll see that it's the same thing. But when you're talking continuous watts, those that's the real power. The PEP could be all kinds of weird shit. It really can and useless. But until you see it on a real bench, real world application, it's, it's useless. That's why I like to use the term 22 continuous because you gotta know the formulas. And if you notice when you know the formulas and you're consistent, consistency, I put a picture up today and uh, I don't know how many people get it, <clears throat> but I said consistency means that they know what they're doing and why. If they're inconsistent, that they're absolutely clueless. Does that make sense to you?
<laughs> yeah, yeah, 80 watts PEP. Okay, peak is half of PEP, peak envelope power. There are ways, and these words all mean something and how they're utilized. Okay, my little red light came on on my camera, Tom. It says three minutes, and I definitely don't want to lose this gate. I don't know what happens when my battery just dies if it just, you know, quits, and then I don't get to save the, the video to my stick, so that'll suck. But yeah, you're doing 80 PEP. The meter probably shows around 60. And it's getting up there with certain frequencies. If you watch my videos, you'll see exactly where they're at and why it's, it's contoured. It's not just because of splatter. It has a lot to do with that. But it also has to do with temperature, heat, well, heat, temperature, and current, which is, they're all relative to each other. And then there's the curve with the mic to be able to make these radios. AM and sideband, both paths are slightly different so that they can be heard through the noise, above the noise floor. Hey Tom, I'm coming down to two minutes. It's my pleasure. So uh, after, when you're done, man, I'm gonna shut this thing off and I gotta get back to that bench and keep working. Maybe we'll hear you back on out of the shop. Your turn. Hey man, before you go, I did talk to Dirt Digger today, 723 around the panhandle of the Big Star. I wish I could have got a copy of him, man, or a video gate. I do, but hey man, I got shows two minutes, so you got to do it again. Give me some good ones. Blow that horn. Mr. Truck Driver, truck them up. Don't forget, always wear a helmet when you ride. 163, Mud Duck. Radio in the desert. We're clear and gone with one minute left.